Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Canon Culture Podcast. I am your host, Just Jay Sama. I'm here with producer Plank. Games Fest 2023 was this past week, and there was quite a few announcements. I wasn't paying attention to any of it. I didn't. I literally didn't even see anything out of Summer Games Fest until like significantly after the fact. So um, there was like a new. There's a bunch of new stuff actually. There was a decent amount of stuff, but it wasn't like I. I don't know. I watched the showcase and I wasn't like impressed to be honest with the summer games fest one the other one the xbox one was really good to be honest it was more like a b like a b and then summer games fest itself was like a c was it was kind of average was the playstation show. showcase any good um it was better i would say Did it was definitely it had me more hype than summer games fest really so that's the one's like a b minus and then i'd say uh the xbox one was like a b wow that's they were really close this year xbox and playstation they didn't i don't think they really announced anything game not game breaking but um a lot a large majority of i believe the playstation showcase was just alan wake stuff and i really would have preferred like maybe some some silent hill news or literally something, quite literally anything yeah something or, interesting yeah. Something super good. I mean, there was some interesting aspects. They, they, um, I don't know if you remember the From Software game they were doing. Um, huh? They were doing a, I forgot what it was. It was a, they announced it at the Game Awards, I believe. Okay. And I was hoping for more news on that. I forgot what that game was called. It was like a Gundam ass game. This but is it was the first solid. I'm hearing of it. Holy shit. Wasn't not earth Wind defense Wind. force and it wasn't i think it was the uh, earth defense force earth defense really oh shit either that armored, or no, the other one was armored, armored core, core right it is uh, yeah the front software is armored core six yeah 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 that was crazy armored core has always been a dope ass series yeah that that's one of those games i kind of wanted to see it like a playstation showcase kind of deal okay but i don't think we got let's see let me relook at the games fest because it's been a week um payday 3 got announced yeah that was at the xbox one the X, that's why the xbox one was really good oh the, the xbox, xbox one was the one where they showed outlaws oh For games fest they had mortal kombat one mortal kombat oh, one wait. okay yeah it is i don't know why but they're the what i'm looking at is showing me the same fucking the one i'm looking at is mixing all three of them together so it's like yeah i yeah this is not a very good article to pick up so let me watch the youtube video i just got a text how come i didn't see it so. that boy jeff Keeley sitting high man he said i don't have to compete with nobody no more there is no new nintendo direct this year but there will still be a lot of other live streams to tune into which is why we've put together this complete summer games fest schedule for up for the upcoming week oh so this isn't after the fact Wow, that was from Thursday to Mortal Thursday. Kombat one, Alan Wake two. There was the Dead by Daylight. Summer Games Fest had Remnant two. Um, this is some indie game. Alan Wake. This is some indie game as well. This is. What is this? I forgot what game this was. They showed Assassin's Creed. Was yeah. this? Baldur's Gate? Not Baldur's Gate. It's interesting because I haven't seen any footage on anything. And I know uh, Final Fantasy 16 has a demo out right now. Yeah, it does. So, feel, uh, DJ has been playing and a lot of people have been enjoying it. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like a very EMC-like Final Fantasy That's what game. I keep hearing. And uh, I'm, I'm it, all here, it really I'm looks here like for it. it. <laughs> yeah finally honestly yeah so it's been a long time in the making phil spencer has explained halo's absence from the xbox game showcase well they're aren't they just going to release the story i guess they already released the rest the of that collection or whatever i don't even know what they'd have for it have to be a new game because they released the story mode for halo a while ago 
if I recall. Oh, the whole thing? Because I remember it had like a staggered release or something on Steam, right? Hold on. It, I believe For so. Halo? They ended up releasing it eventually. I think they released it last year. Yeah, Halo the Master Chief Collection. Is that it? Nah, it'd be infinite. Halo Infinite? There's too many Halos. Okay. <laughs> the fact that I didn't automatically like off the top of my head didn't know that. Halo Infinite multiplayer is free. Okay. Yeah. Halo Infinite campaign. Oh, so yeah, I guess it's just out. Yeah, it's been out for a I think it's been out since December of this year. Like, yeah, December 8th, 2021. It has is that right? 4,000 reviews on Steam, and they're mixed. Yeah, I bet. This is interesting because... Halo on PC seems like a no-brainer, so I, I'm i kind of not understanding. Maybe because I'm just so, like, detached. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people aren't really um, tapped into, like, Xbox stuff, to be honest, because it always drops on PC. Yeah, there's Halo 3, Halo 2... Let me view the full list, excuse me. Halo the Master Chief Collection. This series, the series that changed console gaming forever, is on PC and all with all six blockbuster games in one epic experience. Yeah, didn't they like put this game out and then only like the first game was available or some shit like that? Until like a certain date and then they released Halo 2 for it? I believe that is correct. Yeah, and they just like kept patching it. So the last one, let's see. Halo 3, July 2020, May 12th, 2020, for the Halo 2 DLC. ODST was September 21st, and Halo 4 was November 16th. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I put this shit on Game Pass. <laughs> I believe it is on Game Pass. <laughs> put this shit on Game Pass, man. Call it a day. This shit look like the dumb. And. They're charging 50 bucks for it. So, yeah, that's yikes. <laughs> what the fuck is going on over there, man? Forza? Uh, How is well, the they're still Forza trying to acquire enough? Microsoft. Uh, not Microsoft, excuse me. Microsoft is still trying to acquire Activision. Oh, yeah. Didn't that, so that got approved, right? Going on. In, uh, in the UK. Yeah, they're, they keep blocking it and lots of different things keep popping up for them to be denied and shit. Yeah. And then so they're still fighting it out. In the court. last the last update I saw to that was um, Sony was presenting how something that it was a monopoly or some shit like that. And basically, like by uh, by basically I, I'm, by I'm, opening their mouths, they basically suggested that they also were doing a non compete in multiple countries, specifically yeah. in japan and i think that's like a trade violation or some shit so now i'm gonna smoke off their own shit yeah so smoking on their own pack is crazy i'm pretty sure I, I, i'm not a hundred percent sure but one thing i think i saw was they were talking about um sony was like on some shit where they were like yeah this is as long as I think they came to an agreement that like Sony wouldn't get penalized uh, and they could still make deals with Activision or some shit about Call of Duty or something is what I remember reading. But that was a long time ago. So oh, yikes. I need to be fact checked. Might need to. <laughs> yeah, might need to fact check that one. <laughs> OK, uh, hold on. It was after the something. first course, uh, the first case, and they won it, and they were talking about something like that, and then they got blocked again. Is how I believe that went. Mm. Yeah, this is getting to be, uh, to me, it's getting to be a little bit much. I really don't see, well, I don't see a huge benefit to, because I think what was it? Jack Ryan was saying that PlayStation as a platform would not uh survive without call of duty really yeah hold on let me let me pull up the exact quote hold on 
I mean, that does make sense, though. I I don't think so. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, Microsoft has only offered for Call of Duty to remain on PlayStation for three years after the current agreement between Activision and Sony ends. We want to guarantee PlayStation gamers uh, continue to have the highest quality Call of Duty experience and Microsoft's proposal undermines that exact principle. Oh, right here. Jim Ryan says PlayStation will never recover from losing Call of Duty. That is interesting. I don't know about never recover, but uh, <laughs> they definitely take a big hit because there. I don't know if you remember back when Call of Duty Black Ops 4 released back on mm -hmm. PS4. They had this. What is it? Was it a week where they had a, an extended period where you get DLC or something for PlayStation? Oh, yeah. I forgot what that oh, was. Specifically, I found it. I found it. I found it. Jim Ryan. Our business would never, ever recover if Microsoft degraded Call of Duty on PlayStation. Sony Jesus. Interactive Entertainment President and CEO Jim Ryan, in a company's response to the UK regulator, the Competition and Markets Authority, which is the CMA over in the UK, um, he says in his addendum stating that PlayStation would never recover if Microsoft were to release a degraded version of Call of Duty on the PlayStation platform if its acquisition of Activision Blizzard were to be approved. Ryan said, a degraded version of Call of Duty on the PlayStation platform would seriously damage our reputa reputation. Our gamers deserve, uh, let's see, our gamers would desert the platform entirely in droves and network effects would accelerate the problem. Our business would never recover. Wow. <laughs> really? I guess, it, what do they mean by a degraded version? Uh, so basically that, you know, it's just a, you know, they're shipping out the 1440p version and PlayStation owners will be playing the 720p version. Oh. Just an overall degradation of the product. So, and also being, that, they won't have access to it for months after the the game uh releases so that's what it looks like isn't what they did with fucking that's exactly what they did which is why they're f they're in fucking trouble because <laughs> legally they've been doing i mean they're not allowed to do it either but they have been doing it yes i am recording yes oh, okay yeah this entire time so yeah that's a little crazy i'm not gonna lie jim ryan saying that the playstation platform will never recover that's like if you walked up to naughty dog and sony santa monica studios and just spit in the director's face you know what neil Druckmann? neil Druckmann and cory balrog that's that's essentially what you just did saying that the platform will not recover by losing call of duty that's it seems a little i mean call of duty is one of the biggest titles maybe of all time so i mean but it's, it's not a first party so it's like that just seems like why would you say that uh who knows yeah that's a little weird for jim to say that man but i don't i i think they definitely don't want this deal to go through even if it's good for like gaming in general uh they just don't want that shit to go through, all, to be all i know is Naughty Dog probably gonna start making Xbox games, man. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Maybe. Because they're already in hot water because it looks like they're about to cancel factions. Oh, I mean, didn't they release something after Summer Games Fest in the Xbox conference saying that they were, um, they don't have any news yet, but... Yeah, yeah. the game has been, uh, 70% of the staff has been taken off that project and onto addi really? new additional projects, yeah. Hold on, wow. let me actually, let me find the article for it, hold on. That's kind of insane. I did not expect that. 75, you said 70% or 70%? 70%. Jesus. Uh, last of us factions. Factions is not yet canceled, but it is struggling with its full team not available to work on the project. It may not be long for this world with such a small part of one. Naughty Dog statement did not make mention of sh the shrinking team size, only the delay that factions will not have a release date in the first place. Hold on, let me look up the full article. Uh, Gamer Revolution. 
That is Many fans nice. are wondering if The Last of Us... Oh my god, it hit me with the fucking... <laughs> as, literally, as soon as I started reading, it hit me with the... Turn off your ad block. <laughs> Many fans are wondering if The Last of Us multiplayer is cancelled. The Last of Us 2 launched without its factions mode and Naughty Dog promised it would be developing this mo mode as a standalone title. It's been three years since we didn't, when we haven't received any info about its full development. Uh, however, the studio finally broke silence recently to give us some troubling news. Um, and then that's when they announced, uh, it was like in May? Yeah, May 26th of this year that the game was delayed. Which, if we don't know the original like release date, for all I know, like, you didn't have to tell me there was a delay. Like, <laughs> The Last of Us standalone multiplayer title is still in development officially. However, despite never set, uh, setting a release date, Naughty, da Naughty Dog has stated that it's been internally delayed. Um, the studio sent out this message. Uh, we know many of you have been looking forward to hearing more about our Last of Us multiplayer game and project. We are incredibly proud of the job our studio has done thus far. But as development has continued, we realized what is best for the game is to give it more time. Our team will continue to work on the project as well as our other games in development, including a brand new single player experience we are looking forward to sharing soon, which they haven't shared anything yet, and that was as of May. Um, but there is a theory that there's another PlayStation Showcase uh, coming up in July, which is supposed to show uh, factions, um, more Final Fantasy stuff, and uh, some, some other cool fucking isn't games. the game coming be... out in june how is there going to be more i Fantasy have no idea oh is it for rebirth 2 or whatever yeah or... probably it's probably for 15 i mean uh 14 seven. yeah oh seven too yeah the third uh the third part with sephiroth is supposed to be is supposed to the show some part, debut yeah. and then there's a um project for from software that's supposed to still be coming uh, this year Core. yeah it's armored Core. That's a, that's unless ah, it's a different one. Yeah, but unless it's a it's different probably one. armored core. So we'll see, but I don't know if we're actually gonna get one in July. We so we'll see. Won't. Yeah, I don't know. They've been mad stingy with these, with these uh, directs or showcases. Excuse yeah, this is the weirdest rollout of like announcement shows we've seen in a while. I don't know, man. <laughs> Just announce this shit when Jeff Keighley says, yeah, you can come on stage for 20 minutes. Like, that's what they should be planning for every year. When is, when is Gamescom? I don't know when Gamescom is. Game Awards is December, as always. Gamescom is August 23rd to August 27th. So, yeah, we might get something in August, too. June, July, August. That'd be interesting if we get um, gaming updates every month. Ooh, leading up until damn are there any games coming out this year <laughs> not that there's i think a, about it there's a lot of games coming i was out no this i year. was really trying to think about it like you know how normally during q4 like october november december we usually get like the triple a drops that that time of the year you know what i mean but i can't think of i can't think of any games i'm interested in except for phantom nice. liberty Starfield is coming out in September. Starfield, yeah, okay. Um, Persona Three Remake is in 2024. Uh, early 2024. I I like Persona Three. That's that was the first one I ever played. But I, yeah. eh, I maybe because it's a remake, I don't care. Well, it's supposed to be pretty much the same shit. Oh, I was gonna add a few things. X. Nothing like story was though. Yikes! Absolute yikes. Yeah, I mean. For a lot of people, this will be their either their first one or uh, their second one after five. Mm. So. Street Fighter Six, Dead Space already came out. Final Fantasy Sixteen is coming out. Dead Island Two already came out. Alan Wake Two, Assassin's Creed Mirage. I should probably watch a trailer for that. I, I wasn't a big fan of Mirage, but oh, nice. a lot of people are lining up to enjoy it. So okay, I won't let it, I won't ruin it for anyone else. Lies of P. Yep, Lies of P. I'm a I'm a little excited for that. I saw the demo was out. It came out after Summer Games Fest. So. Yeah, I tried to 
go and play it. It must not be available for PS5. Nah, I saw DJ playing it on PS5. Oh, really? Oh, shit. It might be over. Unless you did it. I did it the day of, so it, oh, it might not have been live until the day after or something. I don't know. So I'll, I'll probably have to go and check after the show. Yeah. Let's see. It was pretty interesting. I don't... There's some interesting aspects to that game, but I don't think I'm going to be picking that up. No? Really? Nah. It's not an official Souls game anyway. Who cares? Well, not even that. It's just I'm not really interested in that setting. Oh. The Victorian era does not interest you, huh? Nah, I don't know why. Didn't you really like Bloodborne, though? I did, but that was different. Oh, that was different now, huh? Yeah, because there was something... I don't in Bloodborne, you, you probably know this, but when you gained um what was that shit? Insight uh-huh. or whatever, the whole world changed. Oh, like that yeah, shit was yeah. insane. Cause on in the church, right? When you first like finish the tutorial type shit, or after you get to Gas Coin, after you kill Gas Coin, yeah. You go to the church and you that's where you oh, meet and some the whole NPCs the whole shit switched up. Yeah, yeah. And then when you get a bunch of insight, you see a motherfucker like uh, some weird alien shit. And he's on the fucking church. That shit tripped me out. <laughs> that was a great fucking game. Okay. You, get, you don't remember that? We getting a, we getting a playthrough? Well, Bloodborne. Or? Yeah. Shit, I don't. I don't think so. Why not, man? I'm not my, my PS4 right here. I'm trying to throw this bitch out. I do not want to play hey, that shit. Hey, man, listen. Come on, the streets need it, man. Yeah, the streets don't need this. Say so you gonna drop it for the Cannon Culture Pod, man. Hey, man, when I get a PS5, oh, okay, I'll, I'll play Bloodborne <laughs> for again. sure. For sure, I need to play the DLC. I ended up okay. So, if, so if we make it happen, then you got to do it, right? We get you a PS5. Sure. That's my that's my fucking favorite, one of my favorite games of all, all time. Right. I love that. Y'all game. heard it. Y'all heard it, man. Sub to the Patreon, please. We need. But I will be playing Spider Man on release. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna be using my little brother's PS5. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> huh? He got the PS5, you know, you got the four in the basement? Yeah. That's, that's a graduation gift? Nah, he got it from some other shit. Oh, okay. For sure. It was a hand-me-down, essentially. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I like it. I like it when it's like that. Um, let's see, what else? The only other game I'm looking forward to, I'm not looking forward to Mirage, to be honest with you. Um, really? They're not paying me to play it, so... Oh, they're not yeah. even sending me a free copy so that's yeah, yeah. that's that's the extent of my lo- loyalty for the series at this point uh but disgaea 7 is coming out vows of virtuelessness mm. i am super excited for that that actually just came out in japan in april yeah april and i was over the moon excited because i did not they're they're apparently fixing a lot of the stuff that i had an issue with in six so we'll have to see um mm. but i haven't watched any gameplay of it so i should probably do that it's coming to you know, playstation 4 playstation 5 switch and pc launch day so none of this oh mm. you'll get the game three months later type bullshit for pc so i'm very excited mm. about that uh the mods are going to be crazy because there's a lot more big titty bitches in this one so oh yeah, yeah. And you know i love big titty bitches so uh alan wake october 17th uh so that's that's gonna be cool i guess uh forza i mean i'm i didn't play one but alan wake 2 the way they dropped the gameplay it looked like evil within and like more with more psychological horror type oh yeah it looked pretty interesting i don't know if i'll be playing it but it definitely looks it was one of the better games they released i'll probably be playing it we'll see i don't know if i'm gonna be busy or not so Mm. This past week has been terrible, man, because I was sick with the flu for a couple of days, and that shit almost yeah. took me out, bro. There was one almost. night I was having, like, I was so sweating. Oh, man, yo, I was sweating, but it was cold. Like, it was freezing cold in, in the house, and uh, I was, like, half naked with my socks on, with, like, two pairs of socks mm. on, man. I was just chilling in my robe. And had a had a so, coughing storm, bro. It was just I th- I really thought it was it was gonna take me out because I had a horrible horrible headache, and I was like, damn, this is this is where this is where it happens. It's unfortunate. 
Mm. So, but I'm okay. glad you're better though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we got more work to do, so I just have to stick to this schedule I have for the next week. So, um, November, like a dragon, Gaiden comes out. Uh, the man who erased his name. I'm actually excited for that one. Uh, yeah, they actually dropped another one. Uh, they did well, uh, the like a dragon. Cure you one, and then they did the Ichiban one. I saw. I, for, uh, I the saw. Money, what is it? I forgot the what it was called. I infinite forgot wealth? the money. <laughs> it, it's infinite wealth. Not I forgot the money. <laughs> I forgot the money. Infinite wealth. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, but I do not want to pay seventy dollars for a game I'm not gonna finish. So I don't, I'm not sure if they're gonna charge seventy for that, unless I'm. Trying. It is listed on the PlayStation website for sixty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so these fucking scammers, bro. bro <laughs> I swear to God, they trying to run it up, so man. They trying to run it up. It's already hard enough to buy sixty dollars games. What yeah, you talking true, about? True, true, true. And now, uh, going into the current era, I guess it's current. Yeah, current era of consoles. Uh, remasters and remakes are now going for sixty bucks instead of fifty. So, the damn shame. It's the only reason why I haven't bought Mega Man yet. So. Yeah, I'm not yeah about that. I don't even know. Yeah, we Hopefully don't. We don't have to switch this, this podcast up, man. We're not gonna. I don't think we could do video games no more because this shit expensive. Uh, we're gonna be e begging. Yeah, I mean, we already doing that. Sub to the Patreon, we, man. Yeah, even worse. Yeah, you guys get exclusive even content. More criminal level. <laughs> to a criminal level? Oh, jeez. Uh, let's hey, see. Bro. Grand Theft Auto: The Trilogy. Definitive edition comes to iOS and Android. I don't know if you. I don't know if you care about <laughs> oh, that. Oh shit! Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, it's gonna be available on iOS and Android, baby. Oh so, shit! It's gonna be interesting. I uh, can't wait, man. Yeah, it doesn't look like Hyenas, Homeworld Three, Hollow Knight. None of these have. Hollow Knight is good. Yeah. Metal Gear yeah. Solid Master Collection Volume One comes to PS5 this year. I don't know what's in that. But I know number three just got that remaster. Are you going to be picking that up? I know DJ is, even though he doesn't give a shit about Kojima. So It depends. Because the way they... The marketing campaign that they are doing for three is not good. See, this is why I got to ignore marketing for a lot of stuff. Because... None of that shit has anything to do with well, the actual the, release of the game. It's not the marketing. It's like the interviews. Excuse me. The interviews have been crazy because they said, "Oh yeah, we're not adding literally anything, and we're putting." Oh, the they're old voice they're lines using the, the old game. audio from like 1996. Yeah. yeah. Like that shit is insane to me. What is even the point of remaking this game? I don't know. It just seems like a, a cash grab if you're gonna do that. If you're not even gonna put any effort into it. And they're I get that you're like remaking the models and shit, but damn. I don't think they're even gonna put Kojima's name on it. Oh, they definitely won't. Yeah, There's, which I think is the most disappointing part part uh, the most disappointing part. Wow, I can't talk. Um now my question is, do you think we're gonna see like uh, a lot of people give a shit about this? Like I, I haven't seen anybody talk like about like no, like boycotting the game, basically. Um, not that they're it's actually going to happen successfully. I don't know but. if they're going to. It depends. It depends if Kojima says something about it. If he says something about it, maybe. You think he will? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Uh, he's He's got Death Stranding, and that seems to be like his kind of like his literal baby at this point. Yeah. So, you know. But hey, man, what do I, know? I don't I don't think they'll I don't think he'll do he'll say anything about it other than he was giving um he was giving context to like the older games and shit on Twitter. He oh, was yeah. like giving backstory and shit, which was cool. But I don't think he'll say, oh, don't boycott the game or something. He'll probably just be like, whatever. Oh, man, that sucks. Hey, it does. But I mean, he's on to different projects. I guess it's kind of just what it is. That man is unbothered, I hope. Hopefully. He also got that fucking Spotify podcast. True. Hey, that was an insane thing to fucking release at a gaming event. <laughs> they released his podcast at a gaming event. Uh, I wonder if it gets any views. I wonder if it's good. It probably does, just because people really like it. Kojima. Ah, uh, yeah. Not enough to boycott his game, though. Definitely not enough. Yeah, so... 
I was hoping it's gonna get like Harry Potter levels of attention. Oh, but never. I doubt it. So. No, nah, I don't think so. You don't think so? Hey, man, maybe one day. <laughs> maybe, but I don't think so. Yeah. So. Speaking They'll of attention, they'll probably play it to, to be interested in it. Uh, this is the old game. Have you seen the uh, the reviews for Lord of the Rings Gollum? I can assure you they are good. Yeah, this seems to be one of the most confusing games to come out in a while. I I almost forgot about it. Um, I don't know why they made this game. Who wants to play as fucking Gollum? Like, this shit looks dumb. I haven't uh, seen any I, gameplay for it, so I'm only well, going it didn't off of drop these. Good anyway, so. Yeah, I'm only going off of these two out of five, three out of five reviews that I'm seeing. So. Yeah, that shit came out a broken mess. So I don't think anyone's <laughs> gonna be playing this game in the near future. Yikes! It's getting hard to be a gamer. Ah, so not that hard. Looking, uh, gotta gotta look forward to Naruto Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm oh my Collection. God. I hate you. <laughs> that game looks so incredibly mid, and my one of my friends, he's coping so hard. Uh, he's like, oh yeah, that shit, that tra that shit looked good in the trailer. Uh, <laughs> I bet that shit yeah. did. Twenty dollar expansion, man. Don't That's what it needs to be. Shit. But apparently, it's a seventy dollar expansion. So it's seventy. Seventy. There's no way they want fucking seventy yeah, gold balloons for that bullshit. Yep. There is no shot. They want seventy rupees for it, my boy. Yeah, they're tripping. Yeah. So it's on PS5, man. It has consistent 60 frames per second. You don't you I don't, don't want this. this bullshit. No? I don't give a fuck. Advanced about this gaming? Shit. Nah. Fuck Yikes. Like that. Hater. I get yeah, I'm a big fucking hater. What a big fucking they, hater. There's no way they want 70 for that. Yeah, they do. They want all the the blues. Give it to them. Like that. So, but speaking of cashing in on doubloons, have you seen uh, the new Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Hero Pack of Justice? Hey, stop bringing this bullshit to me. Man. Hey, man. <laughs> that shit look good. I'm not going to lie to you. That shit look good. Anyway, man. Did you see Sandland? Nah. It was, um, it's basically. Sandland? Sandland, yeah. I mean,. Let me take a look. It looked really interesting. It was based on... What is it? It looked... Oh! It looks like a... Yeah, it's Akira Toriyama's game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his art style. It looks nice. I don't that know what it's about, really but... It's it was based off of... Unreal 5, too. Yeah, it's based off of the manga. Hey, that oh, on Sandland manga? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Sandland manga. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yes. that shit looked pretty good when they dropped it, so... Let's see. In the far future, war has destroyed the entirety of planet Earth, leaving only a barren wasteland where the supply of water is controlled by the greedy king. In search of a long-lost lake, Sheriff Rao asked the king of the demons for help and got the king's yeah. son, Belzebub, and his assistant, some random thief. <laughs> That's literally the synopsis. Some random Together, people. the unlikely trio sets off across the desert, facing dragons, bandits, and the deadliest of foes of all, the king's army himself. Interesting. So, mm. that'll be the synopsis of the game. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Kira Toriyama kind of... He kind of hit with this art. Yeah, it looked really good. Yeah. So In-game, they it looked good, too. I believe that's what that was. In-game... In uh... Shit. Yeah, it better be in game. Shit, I need a. That'd be, that'd be crazy. One thing I I need to uh, to come out since you know we were talking about like the storm connections or whatever. I need uh, Uzumaki Chronicles three. All right, you're not yeah. getting that shit. Yeah, I need it. I need it real bad. That's great, but you're not getting it. You're getting this fucking seventy dollar cash grab. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that. And you gonna like it? I'm not I'm not doing that. Oh, you think so? No, thanks, man. Oh, now you want to be anti Naruto Boruto? <laughs> no, it's Naruto? not. It's not anti Naruto Boruto at all. It's just, it's anti spending seventy dollars. <laughs> you can't spend seventy dollars for that fucking game. What the fuck? I gotta buy some Dragon Ball Xenoverse two for the third time, man. Come on. I got my priorities, on, buddy. You know that shit's the best game of all time. I don't know about that. 
Come on, I'll bro. They're going to fix it, I swear. I That's cool and everything, but the mod community got me. The mod community you will so? make sure. Yeah, that bitch about to be on Nexus mod the next day. Talking about the entire uh, Boruto Naruto Connections DLC available for download. So, allegedly. Hopefully they fucking actually fix the game because I don't know why, but for some reason they made it so when you play online, your mic is always hot mic'd yeah, and you can't do I anything about shit. it. That is literally the worst. So, Fortunately, if you're playing on PC, you can just go in and right click and disconnect from that specific game. So just turn off the permissions. Mm. So that's the, uh, that's the best way to do that. But... That's real shit. Yeah. Hey, man, we got a lot of stuff to catch up on this week. It was is it's really good uh, that, you know, we're uh, trying to be a little bit more consistent. I love it. You think so? Yeah, you know. I mean, having a full episode where we just sit and only talk about, like, the Games Fest and Gamescom and stuff like that. And then having – we'll have to do one specifically about Kick and the XQC oh, yeah. thing. Yeah, the, there's a lot of updates there, so – Shit, kick and give me a deal. Honestly, you probably at. could. You probably could get one. I'm ch I'm low key cheap as fuck. Come on, man. Yeah. You know. So I'll do I'll do 80 hours, please. Give me a 80 deal. hours, bro. You can't even do one hour. Oh, whoa, whoa. who said that? I did. Anyway, you're not doing no 80, do 80 hours. hours. Yo, first of all, okay. I start phoning it the fuck in. <laughs> you would. I'd be dead tired. I'd be leaving the stream on. We'll have to talk about this on another video, but. Uh, so you saw that they were like paying minimum wage, right, or something like the that. Sixteen. Yeah, yeah, they're paying uh minimum wage yeah. based off of your state. Oh, are they? Yeah. So based off of like, I thought they said sixteen an hour. I is what I read. Fuck if I know. I'm pretty sure that shit said sixteen an hour. I saw it was. I don't know by state, so it's probably somewhere in the middle. I don't know. But uh. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, man, you you streaming on Kick? um if they gave me money to yeah you only need like 10 people because it's um hold on i saw what the math was and it actually is kind of worth it i bet yeah and that's 95 five splits are godsend uh, i also saw this did you see the harris hiller tweet i did i did that shit I think is you posted that shit i looked at it i was like oh come that on. shit was crazy did you see the part where apparently he couldn't ban the person that was like working for twitch yeah the twitch stuff. yeah that shit is crazy he yeah said, you can't ban. why would you be able to ban twitch stuff so they can stop like harassing that. you that shit is not working okay, well i don't think that's yeah you would never ban your own stuff you know that have to be from a, a decision up top yeah i don't know about that one man <laughs> Well, I don't. Kick will it? pay sixteen dollars an hour to streamers who broadcast live on its platform. Yeah, I think it's um, minimum four hours. Thirty. Let's see. The conditions requested by the platform are being awake and interacting with the chat. Uh, Yo, yeah. I just thought of something crazy. It's, Imagine you have an AI version of yourself. Actually, yeah, you, you probably could do that. <laughs> Um, a minimum of four hours a sleep. day, 30 days a month. You must be of age. Damn, 30? What about the 20? Oh, this one, this one might fuck you up. Let your face always be seen on webcam. Ooh. I don't know about that one. Always? Always. That's kind of weird. I don't know why. You gotta be, condition. you gotta be a kick rep. So they have to be able to what rip if... your VOD and use it for marketing. What about if I'm a VTuber or whatever? How does that work? Nah, that still counts. That's not technically my face. Yeah, that's so technically that your face. So you can slide oh, with it that. Technically is? Yeah, you can slide oh. with that for sure. I was about to say, like, if I'm a VTuber, that's a weird condition. Like, uh, Yeah, you probably could slide you know I mean? on it, though. Yeah, you probably could. Yeah, they'll let you. They'll but then you again, with that. you probably get a deal pretty fast. Yeah, so really you only need, let's see, at $16 an hour, and it's like... uh. A portion of it based on how many viewers and watch time or something like that and how long they watch so really you could just cut it on in the discord and have every you know there's 10 people in there most of the time yeah, maybe so 
Well, not everyone is going to support and shit like that. You need to be aware of that. Nah, put PM on there, man. We're trying to see some content. Nah. Put a DJ on put that it. shit. Yes, sir. DJ can't even. He can't even do his own shit. Oh, yikes. Anyway, we want to thank you guys for listening to uh, this quick update episode. <laughs> back with more <laughs> yeah we'll be back with more later on this week thank you guys for listening make sure to sub to the patreon if you guys are watching the video version of this episode thank you so much we really appreciate it make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you are listening on the audio version we would also like to say thank you very much make sure to to rate the show five stars i'm not gonna lie i just bit the shit out of my tongue just now ow Damn. um but yeah, if you guys want more content, head over to the YouTube channel as well as our Patreon. Links will be down in the description. But until next time, we will see you guys later. Make sure to keep it canon.